We are starting this live stream very soon. This is our life live. Stay tuned. All right, welcome to Art Life Live on today's show. We're doing a little Hughes of Hendrix. Let's paint. My name is David Garibaldi and I paint live. As I paint, let's talk about Art Life Live starts now. All right, welcome to today's Art Life Live. My name is David Garibaldi. Uh, we are live right now on YouTube, Facebook, Periscope, Twitch, and also up high because we've got some devices up here, Instagram and TikTok. As always, let me know where you're tuning in from so we can shout you out. I wanna shout your city out. As you can see right behind me, that way, maybe that way, there is a, a blank white canvas. And I keep saying this, that the last white canvas, that, that was my last one. Today is the last one, I promise. I've got new black canvas on the way. So hopefully this is the last one. If not, come along for the ride. Uh, all right, let me know. So I see a, on, on YouTube, Wendy Edwards, you're in Springdale, Arkansas. Welcome. Uh, who else? I see Dominic always checking in from New York. Shout out to you. Uh, Ashley Pisa, greetings from New Jersey. Greetings from Sacramento, back to you. Where else are we tuning in from? Colombia. Guatemala? Guatemala, welcome. Where else are you? I see, uh, let's see, some more New Jersey as well. Michigan, welcome. San Francisco is joining us. Himalaya, all right, Himalaya. Florida, Argentina, San Jose, we're just shouting out your cities right now, so let me know. Ecuador, Miami, Florida Islands, Argentina. Uh, on, on Facebook, I see Jimmy in Georgia, I see Terry in Sacramento. Uh, shout out to Cesario, uh, Texas is joining us as well. Minnesota. Mexico, welcome. All right, we'll get back to those. We're gonna start painting in about a minute. Uh, let me ask you this, how was your weekend? Uh, I know maybe some of you uh, celebrated Father's Day. Maybe there's fathers out there. Uh, if you did, you know, I had an amazing Father's Day this weekend. It was probably one of the most memorable Father's Day ever, uh, which is probably why I feel so rejuvenated to paint today and to create for you. But um, I hope you guys had a relaxing fathers out there. Those of you who are, you know, in the game right now, your kids are of all ages. I posted something on Instagram. You get a chance to go watch, go watch that or, or see that. Uh, I just posted a message about how we can, we're so much more capable of being just providers. And I say that with knowing how hard it is to just be a provider. But I added to that, that our greatest job is to be a teacher. And how we teach is our actions every single day to our kids. So uh, if you get a chance to go read that, um, you know, go 
You go take a look at that uh, most recent post on my Instagram. But let's do some more shout outs before we start painting because I'm ready to paint. Seattle. Seattle. Indonesia. Indonesia, Indonesia South, Africa, South Africa. Toronto. Toronto. Chile. Chile Germany. Germany. Delay, I see Abe Snowbar, Valley High. What was that, Delaware? Yep. Delaware is joining us. Malaysia. Brazil. Brazil. Um, I love checking out. I love that you guys are always checking in from all over the world. I know we go live at different times, so we, we try to connect with as many people as we can. Uh, no habla espanol. Uh, I'm working on it. I'm working on it. Ecuador. Ecuador. Uh, Canada. Canada. Welcome. Um, can you draw Pablo Escobar? All right, someone asked, can I draw Pablo Escobar? I don't know if it's today's theme, but actually today's theme, before we get into this painting, uh, let's just get right into it. The theme is Hughes of Hendrix. That's the today's theme. Uh, I'm ready to paint. So if you're ready on TikTok, Instagram, Facebook, Twitch, Periscope, and YouTube, I hope you guys are ready. Let's paint. <laughs> It's, you know, it's not a, it's not a social movement. It's just something inspired. It's like an exercise for me. It's like an artist going to the gym. That's what it feels like. There's figures, it's color, it's everything. So let's get started. Um, let's see, as always, I'm gonna really lay down this base paint. It's gonna help me establish my figure. We're always gonna kind of dab, put all this on and then let it dry. And then once it dries, we can come back and add some more detail. I'm also breaking in some clean pants today. I don't know if you guys noticed that. Uh, a little side button. I think I already had it locked. Okay. Uh, as always, let me know your questions. You can ask below in the comments. I'll do my best to answer those. If not, I will also share about my process, what I'm doing, and why. And, you know, I feel very relaxed today because I had such an amazing weekend. I felt, I felt the love for my family. I felt like they actually liked me. I know, my kids were like super nice all weekend. Ooh, so Grace Jude asked, why do I move so much? I, well, a couple reasons. One, normally when I'm painting, I paint live on stage in front of an audience of thousands of people and I have to do the paintings really, really fast. So my normal technique is actually, this is, I'm kind of slowing it down for this process, but moving helps me get the painting done quicker. I also just, Love to stand up while I'm painting. I love to create this way. And I, I frankly get kind of bored sitting down to paint. So, but if that works for you, that is awesome. It just hasn't really worked for me lately or at all. All right, keep those questions coming. Ask below. Okay, so who am I painting? So the theme today, it's gonna actually be pretty easy to, to tell, but the theme is Hughes of Hendrix. Um, this one isn't necessarily just a portrait. It's also some figure. It's a lot of color that's gonna break this up as well. And um, I'm just, I, you could say that this is like an exercise for me, for me to challenge myself. So where am I from? I am from Sacramento, California. My studio, we're here at my studio right now. We're in the Broadway district of Sacramento. And uh, I love the city. I was actually born in Los Angeles and my parents moved here when I was younger for my dad's work, for his business. And at the time, Sacramento was like nothing. I mean, there was nothing here, not a lot of people. And uh, you know, we were, we moved here from LA and 
it's just always been home for me. Yeah, so what kind of paint do I use? I use latex interior house paint. It is water-based, so it's very similar to uh, acrylics. It's just, it just moves a little bit more fluid. Uh, so I get my paints at Home Depot. They're just interior house paints. So what was the question again? So how do I plan all this out? To be honest, I don't really plan, uh, but I do try to come with an idea in mind. Uh, I do study what I'm gonna create. I try, I try to get it in my mind, but a lot of it is, is just going with the flow. Um, I think that's what helps me create so often and constantly is I just, I just accept the process. I trust it. I go along with it and I try to enjoy it. Ooh, so someone asked, is New Orleans my second favorite city still? Um, I don't know if, I don't even know if I have a second favorite city because I love so many cities, but I do love New Orleans. It's a very cool city. It's just been a while since we've been there as well. You guys kind of see it coming to life? Again, I'm just establishing the figure right now. I am uh, working out this silhouette. Make sure that it feels how it's supposed to. It's a great question. So am I a righty or lefty? I'm a, I'm a both. I use both my hands. Depends on what I'm creating. Oh, that's a great question. So have I ever painted J. Cole? Yes, I have. Uh, I don't know if you can search for it online and if it actually comes up, but I posted it on my Instagram and I think it was, it was a, uh, a time-lapse that I posted on there. But yeah, I'm a big, big J. Cole fan. Love his music. So how much time do I take to make paintings? Uh, it can vary on times and how long it takes for me to, to create, but on average, I can take anywhere from six minutes to create a large painting like this to today we'll probably spend maybe 30, 40 minutes to create. That's a great question. So someone asked, how do I fix a painting if I'm wrong? I actually, I think you can change the way of your thinking on that. I don't necessarily think that it's wrong or that I mess up. I just need to work out the process. So I'm actually, there's nothing ever to fix. There's always something to improve upon. Uh, I don't make my own canvases. I do purchase them. I, I, I wish I had, I know I wish I had the time to do that, but um, I definitely don't have the time to make my own canvas. You can though, I would say this, if you want a cost effective way to save money, I, I used to do this early on. I would buy raw cotton canvas and I would apply gesso to it, just like how you buy it in a store. And I would just, I would create my own canvas. So there is a way to, you know, if you're trying to save money, there is a way to uh, create your own canvas. There's a lot of great tutorials out there as well to show you how to do that. All right, we're just establishing it. <laughs> Ooh, that's good to know. My camera movement. Actually, let me shout out to my camera woman, Chadi. But also, we've got a new team member. We've got Ray back there. Ray, can you great? Ray, scream real loud. Say hello. I don't know if you can hear that, but he just said what up. Ray's back there switching cameras. If you're only on Instagram and TikTok, you guys are missing out. We have a, a, a ton of other views and angles on this live stream there's a link in my bio that says live stream and you'll be able to see a whole different audio visual experience i love that you know someone asked how do you fix something when you mess up and again i don't look at it like that 
I don't look at it like I'm messing up. I look at this like I'm working through the process. And I think the more, what's that? What happens? Oh, <laughs> well, they, can say, they can say hello to you. I think she's doing that on purpose. All right, so when did I start painting? Uh, I started painting in 2003. I was 20 years old, and I started painting live at jazz clubs, nightclubs here in Sacramento, and uh, and then I just never never looked back. By the way, you should show them our, our new members here in the studio. I don't know if you guys can see these over here. Welcome, our new. Our new Art Life family members, we'll introduce you to them later. They have names. They have names. We'll, we'll introduce you later. But I just want to distract you real quick. <laughs> oh, good. All right, good. Are there any Star Wars fans out there? I don't know if you guys saw my Star Wars series that I did on Art Life here, but uh, I, had a, I think I did a Yoda for sure. I'm sure there were some other ones. All right, back to this. So, just kind of establishing some different parts of this figure. I've done it before, so I'm a little familiar with this portrait of Hendrix. Um, I, I mentioned earlier that I had such an amazing uh, Father's Day. So shout out to all the fathers out there, those fathers who are, you know, hardworking, making sure the family's taken care of. All right. Go. Yeah, I feel. I think she did it on purpose. Yeah, I mean, you guys, she's beautiful. I, I wouldn't be mad to, to to see you in the middle of my live stream. I get to see you every day. <laughs> she is, yes. Uh, what's my favorite work of art that I made? Um, man, there's so many. Yeah, it's my, my favorite one is always my, my last one or my next one. This may be my favorite one. All right, so right now, I'm just working on this portrait. We're gonna add details later. I just wanna get something down that, a base that I can work from. So what's crazy is once you start adding light to this, once you start adding light and shadows, it will completely change the portrait. Well, that's a great question. How do I keep from being a perfectionist when I paint? Simple answer is I'm not a perfectionist. I, I'm more worried about getting the painting done and creating today and learning from it, moving on and applying that to the next painting so that I don't rob myself of the experience of just being able to create. I think that uh, sometimes perfectionism can rob you of those experiences of just really enjoying the process. And I really truly do love this process so much that I, I'm, I'm not trying to create masterpieces. That's, I think when something's a masterpiece, you let your audience decide that. For right now, I just wanna create. Yeah, so it is a Jimi Hendrix image coming to life. I'm using some different techniques. And again, today's portrait is more so of an exercise for me rather than trying to 
you know, get some sort of message. I know we've been pretty heavy on messages lately and I just kind of wanted to take a break per se. And I just wanted to uh, have some fun while I'm creating this. So the tricky thing about this latex paint is it, I really use it and it's designed to use live on stage, doing paintings very quickly. It, it's challenging when I'm doing something slower and I actually have to mix my colors as I go. So I always recommend, if, you're, if you do paint slower, I always recommend, you know, use, use acrylics. They dry pretty fast, they're easy to work with, but um, we're just establishing some lines right now. I'm curious, I have a question for you guys since you guys are asking questions. Yeah. Uh, so I have a couple questions for you guys. How many of you out there are artists? Uh, how many of you out there are either painters, you draw or you create something somewhere? Can you let me know below in the, in the comments and just let me know, do you create? And how do you create? Yeah, so have, have I ever thought about doing a painting in South Africa? Yes, we've been invited a handful of times to go to South Africa. Our schedule never uh, allowed us to be able to do that. So I hope that in the future, in the near future, we can make that happen. But I would, I would love to go to just Africa in general. Oh yes, that's, you know, all these principles apply to a lot of different uh, disciplines and art forms. That's great to know. Have you ever done car paint? Have I ever done car paint? I don't think I've actually, oh, you know what? I have painted on a car before, uh, but not of a car. I painted on this, uh, God, what was it? It was like a Mercedes SLS for a live event. But I don't, I don't think I've ever done Car, out of a car. Okay, so makeup artists, welcome. Actually, I've been stealing your techniques, makeup artists. I've been doing a lot of contouring over here, and I actually explain my process by explaining how, not you, but other people contour. So this is just, we're just like mixing all these colors as it comes to life, establishing this silhouette. So I didn't take any art classes. I'm pretty self-taught when it comes to this particular style, but I learned a lot of basic techniques while I was in high school. I was blessed to go to a high school that had some really amazing art programs. And also a high school art teacher as well that really really changed my life yeah so I I partnered with my high school animation teacher uh, and we started a nonprofit called Creator X and we do a, a summer camp we're actually doing a virtual summer camp coming up soon it's gonna be over three days but if you visit creatorx.org you'll be able to see some info there now about just our nonprofit and our virtual camp coming up Uh, well, I feel like I'm still learning how to paint, but it was just one of those things that I, you know, it, I just kind of went for it. I didn't have any formal training. I just knew that I wanted to try to, to paint. So, oh, it's all right. We'll cut to the other camera. There you go. You got it? There you go. Yeah. <laughs> she's, a little, she's a little rusty today. I know. No, really. <laughs> it's all right. Uh, that's how you know that this is extremely live. <laughs> I, I would much rather see you though <laughs> when it flips around. Okay, so we got a lot of painters. 
I, I heard makeup artists. What other creators are out there um, watching this? Photographers? <laughs> yes, my my washing machine like just hates all the paint. Yeah, so we do sell paintings. I do sell them. You can visit garibaldiarts.com forward slash gallery to get info about painting sizes, what's available as well. Can you actually show them a little bit closer while I, while I get paint? Just, I want you to see the mess that's here. This is, again, not about perfection. It's about finding the, the look and feel of this Hendrix piece. It's, it's really inspired by, there's an artist, Leroy Neiman, who does this uh, kind of a impressionism style. And let's do that. Yeah, let's do that where there's no particular lines that bring things together. It's brush strokes, it's color, and that's what we use to define this piece. Yeah, so visit garibaldiarts.com forward slash gallery. You'll find paintings there, or just garibaldiarts.com forward slash shop to find prints, anything else like that. Yeah, so you can visit the link in my bio. I've got things sticking to me. Uh, there's a link in my bio that says Amazon Art Supplies as well. You can find supplies there. Uh, yeah, so I have thought about collaborating with other artists and I have collaborated in the past with a lot of other artists. Um, it's not something that I, I mean, I really, if I collaborate with someone, it's because I, I know them, we've connected somehow. Yeah, we do do giveaway. I still need to send my last winner her painting. So if you're watching out there, Ted B, your painting's still coming, uh, but we do do giveaways quite a bit. You can enter, uh, you can enter to win a painting by texting Art Life to 58885. That'll enter you to win. It's also in the bio of all my platforms. Ooh, can I make Kobe? I've, I've, I have painted Kobe, so if you check out my page, You'll see videos there, but I'm going to be doing one coming up soon for my son because he wants one for his room. So. Yeah, um, something about my art journey. What, early on, I remember when I was just like, you know, bringing my art supplies to different uh, venues, really not knowing what this was going to become when I was no one. I think the one thing that I kept in mind was I wanted to create things and be in environments of uh, places that inspired me. That at the same time, that also attracted my first uh, buyers, my first collectors. So because I was into music, I would not only paint music themed images, I would also go to music venues and paint there as well. And those music fans would ultimately become my first collectors. So I just remember you know, it, things happen fast because we made that connection early on. And I didn't realize it until now. Now I can look back on it and say, oh, that's what we did. But even now, I'm still, you know, that that's really what helped project things along early on. Uh, I have, actually, no, I think we have one left. We had one that we did sell. Oh yeah, sorry. So someone asked, did, I, did we sell the Billie Eilish painting? I think we have one left, but we did sell one of them. All right, let's get this guitar. Actually, you know what? Ooh, can I list all the countries I've been to? Wow. Oh, let's start with North America. So we're gonna list the countries that I've been to while I try to concentrate on painting as well. Um, yeah, no pressure. Uh, so I've been to, obviously, uh, Canada, Mexico. Uh, you know, I'm going to take a break from, from so I can think about this. Uh, Costa Rica, Brazil, um, Australia, Philippines, South Korea, Indonesia, Japan, China. Um, let's go to Europe. Man, I would say almost every country in Europe. Uh, Russia, Ukraine, where else? I haven't been to India, 
and I haven't been to Africa. Those are the only places that I haven't been yet. So I, I can't wait for the invites to be able to go out there. I haven't been to South Africa yet. But that's actually, that's a lot to concentrate on to figure out like, what, what places have I been? But I've been extremely blessed to travel the world and see many different places for, you know, live shows, live experiences. So I, I try not to repeat paintings that I've done live. Someone asked, can I do Kobe live? I try not to repeat them because we've already done Kobe right after he passed away, rest in peace. But maybe in the future, you never know, we'll do another Kobe live. So the paint that I'm using is, um, it's just bare ultra premium paint. It's from uh, Home Depot. Really nothing special about it, but I do get it in a flat so that uh, when it dries, there's no sheen on it and doesn't shine. What was my favorite tour? I mean, really, uh, I've only been on two major tours and that was one opening for Blue Man Group throughout Canada. And the other one was recently last year opening for Kiss. I, I would say though the European leg of the tour last year was my favorite just because uh, I'm used to flying and a lot of those places we took the train. We, you know, we, we basically went through Europe on train. It was pretty amazing. Yeah, so someone said, can I say, Arriba, Mexico. There we go. I love these requests. Yes, yeah, Santiago from TikTok, Arriba, Mexico. And thank you for the love. Let me just say, thank you for the love from everywhere around the world. Uh, it, it inspires me to want to learn more languages and also visit more places because I realize that art has brought us together, and I hope that we can continue to, to create together as well. Oh, do I have a barber? I don't have a barber. I, I stick to do my own hair, which saves me a lot of time. But also, I did not shave today, so you just reminded me I need, I need to shave. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, so someone asked, do I sell my paintings? They want to buy. Uh, yes, you can visit garibaldiarts.com forward slash gallery and you'll be able to see what we have available. Uh, and there's literally paintings of all sizes from small 11 by 14s to the large pop portraits and prices can literally start from the small ones around $700 up to, the, you know, uh, over $10,000 as well. And there's everything in between. Uh, well, I, I, I still feel like I have a lot to learn, which is why I still push myself. But uh, a lot of a lot of these techniques were just built up over years. So I'm 37 now. I've been literally drawing since I was a kid. Um, a lot of these things built up to when I started painting, I already had a foundation that uh, that helped me create. So it starts young. I think any artists out there know this that it's not something that you just kind of start one day, although you can. I think that you can really start at any age, but for me, I started early and never looked back. All right, I'm gonna focus real quick on this. So uh, again, I'm just defining some of these uh, things that I'm gonna add color to later, but I want a base that I can work with. That's why nothing really looks super defined right now. It kind of feels like Hendrix, we're not totally there yet, but we'll get there. We will get there. Ooh, my first painting. What was my first painting? My first painting was of a piano player. I painted it live at the Fox and Goose here in downtown Sacramento. And I sold it to the DJ that was playing that night. His name was Anand. I sold it to him for like maybe 50 bucks. Like, Maybe that. 
he got a great deal, but he also, that $50 changed my life at the time. The first painting that I did, I could see this exchange of value from creating something that was living in me to exchanging that for money that I can use to buy more materials or buy some food, whatever that is. So that was a huge, huge motivation for me early on. Uh, so what's the most difficult painting that I like and dislike? I think paintings of people that appear to be perfect. No one's perfect, but there are some portraits of people that you know don't have a lot of shadows, they don't have a lot of uh, wrinkles on their face, and I just, I love, wipe that off. I love imperfections, yeah, that's a, that's a great way to say it. I love imperfections, I love faces that have character. So I don't have as much fun if there's not a lot of character in it. So what I try to do is find character in a face that may not appear that way. But I do believe that we all have character in us. Um, sometimes it's, it means just taking a, a photo of a different angle on someone as well. Let me get some more black. Oh, that's a great question. So is my painting still in the apartment downtown? The one that I traded for rent, it is. Someone just tagged me in it just the other day. And it is absolutely still there. So I'm just defining some details here. got these like little straggly pieces. It's not a perfect afro. It's kind of all over the place. And then I'm gonna let the paint dry on his guitar. We'll add that detail next. But right now I just wanna use my hands to add some highlights and details to the figure. And today's theme, you know, I called it cues of Hendrix, but really it was an exercise because we've been doing a lot of themes and I just needed a challenge of a figure, portrait, and color all mixed together. And this definitely, this definitely is that. So let's get some white. So in your home, so Santiago and TikTok uh, said that in your home, they don't do this in the home or just in your city. You gotta let me know. Santiago. So I'm adding highlights in what I think from what I've studied, because I don't have the photo in front of me to reference what Hendrix looks like. But from what I can remember, these are major highlights on his face. Do I collect anything? Um, oh, what do I collect? I do collect books. There's a lot of books here in my studio. I do collect wine. I love how Chadi is reminding me of what I collect. <laughs> I got calories. I collect calories. I yeah, coffee. Um, I, oh, you know what? I would say this. I do collect coffee mugs. I kind of seek them out in cities that I'm in. Puppies, yeah. I don't know, that's, that's, you know, there's some questions that you guys ask that I can, it takes longer to think about while I'm painting and it takes away from the painting. So I may not be able to answer them directly yet, but then later I'll be at dinner and I'll be like, I love to collect this and I, I'll remember, so. So do I do portraits of families? I do commission paintings for different uh, families and for different people, yes. I do. All right, I'm gonna get that. Someone asked, what time is it where I'm at? It is 
7.12 p.m. I know I need to get a clock here in the studio. So I'm gonna make his guitar this like lime green. I just feel like it's gonna, it's gonna pop. There's one broad brush stroke. We're gonna come in later with some spray paint to help define this. Sometimes you gotta back up because you might get painted in. Uh, those of you watching this on Facebook, uh, YouTube, Twitch, and Periscope, I'm curious, are you guys enjoying the third angle that we add? We added a third angle so you guys can see actually up closer uh, all these little details that I'm doing on the painting. Hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, so someone asked, you know, how do I feel when people uh, criticize my work, even in the moment? I'm literally creating it right now, and people have opinions. And honestly, I, I really don't listen to it because what fuels me is what I'm inspired by in the moment. I also know that this is a work in progress. So imagine people judging you on where you're at in life, whatever you're doing, whoever you are whatever you've been through, and we all have a past, and say they're just totally judging you. Now, when they judge you, do you stop living from that point on? Do you stop trying to grow? And no, we don't. We know that every single day, we are at this point of the painting, where it's a little defined, but there's still a lot of work that needs to be done. And I accept criticism, it's awesome, but also I know that it doesn't define what's still to come in this painting. Um, I also, the other thing that I keep in mind is, unless they're buying it, I also don't really keep that. I, don't, I really don't take, take the criticism as much. There's clients uh, that I have that buy commissions and they're like, you know what, could you fix this? And I'm like, no problem at all. No problem. It just depends on who's saying it and why. Yes. Okay, cool. Uh, and you know, it's a great question because there's so many artists out there that, thank you. And I, I, you know, there's so many artists that get discouraged by negativity out there. And some people who, who give negative comments, they may lean on and, and disguise it as, well, I'm giving you constructive criticism. I would say this, if you want help and want criticism, ask for it. I think we all need advice. If you didn't ask for it though, and they're giving that to you, and you've got to move on. You can't get hung up on it. It's, it's not your time at that moment to apply it. So you've got to just block it out and keep moving forward. Yeah. All right. Keep moving along here. I'm gonna get some darker colors. So now I'm just kind of adding some details with my hands. These are the these are the little things that, yeah. So so right here I have lined up not only paint and spray cans, I also have water. That's all. That's what I'm dipping my hands in, mixing the colors together a little bit more. Uh, these paintings, I want them. You can come in closer. I want them to stand alone on their own. So that's why I add all these details that may seem insignificant to you right now, but later on, these are the little parts that bring it to life. This is the part where someone can stand in front of and say, you know, that's, that was created in the moment. And I remember when he did that. The, the, um, um, studio, an artist just said they had a client that asked them uh, how much would it charge to do a repair and the client was shocked when they said there was no charge. I think that's amazing. Artists, 
If you're selling your work, you have no choice but to offer great customer service. You have to be able to talk to people, work with them, and that person will sing your praises or not based on your interaction with them. So that person who said that, that they didn't charge a client for uh, making any adjustments, 100% uh, support that. I think that's amazing. And it's a great lesson to teach other people. That was Fleetwood Mac. All right, Fleetwood Mac. Great, great advice for all of us. Thank you. Yeah, so all the channels that we're live on right now that I live stream on is YouTube, Facebook, Twitch, and Periscope. We're also live on devices, so it's not the cool visual and sound, but we're also live on TikTok and Instagram, and I'm at Garibaldi Arts on everything. All right, let's, uh, let's add some, some spray paint lines. We're gonna start wrapping this one up. I just want this guitar because the guitar is what defines Jimmy. That's a great question. So who's a bigger inspiration to me, Denny Dent or Ernie Barnes? And I would say that they're equally uh, inspiring to me. And if you go look at their work, go check out Ernie Barnes, go check out Denny Dent. They both have had this influence on my style. All right, I think. Uh, what was the name again? Aesthetic Isar on one on TikTok. Say hello to you. Yes. So do I have any family members that are creative? Yes, I do. My, my mom is a hairdresser. She's a hairstylist. Um, she's very creative. My dad played music growing up, and my brother played music as well growing up. This is always the fun part. I love just playing in the paint, getting messy. Let's add a little bit more drip and then I'm gonna wrap this up. enough for me to do one more splash of color all right it's my favorite part <laughs> okay it's all right all right we'll finish this up with one more all right take one last look at this hues of hendrix image um, again, inspired by not only the portrait, the figure, but also the feel of all the colors mixed together. Take one last look, and then uh, we'll do some shout outs before we sign off. Enjoy. Thank you all so, so much for watching this. Please uh, leave a comment below if you're new, just comment new. And if you're watching this again, Comment, I'm back. Thank you so much for watching this. 
Also, if you want more information about these paintings, visit garibaldiarts.com forward slash gallery. You can also find prints at garibaldiarts.com forward slash shop. And if you don't already follow, if you don't already subscribe or like, hit that button now if you're enjoying this whole experience. Thank you guys so, so much for watching this today. Let me try to wipe this paint off. If you're still with us, don't go anywhere. I'm gonna do some shout outs. Thank you so much for coming back and just watching this if you're back. So Terry is back. Karen, Lonzak is back. Wendy is back. If you're new, also let us know below in the comments if you're new. I just wiped my face, so I don't know if I have any. <laughs> towel pieces on me. All right, so I'm sure you'll let me know in the comments. So uh, let's do some last shout outs before we sign off. Again, I wanna thank you so, so much for joining me today. Uh, I was inspired by my weekend. I, I felt like, I just felt love for my family. I felt love for my kids. And I just wanted to take that love and put it into some art today. I love music, I love Jimi Hendrix. I love color, portraits, figures, and it's a mixture of all of that. And so I hope that, you know, I hope that you're, what you're getting out of each day. I hope that at the end of the day, you feel some sort of inspiration. And if you don't, keep searching for that in your next day. I want you to, to know what inspires you. I want you to know the people that are in your life that give you that extra bit of energy to help you feel alive and inspired. And this weekend, it was, you know, my family and my kids. So uh, shout outs. Let's do this before we sign off. Uh, Joe Lee on YouTube. We, we do this together, Jolie. Yay, area! Welcome. Thank you for being here with us. There's like towel bits flying. <laughs> okay. So Fleetwood Mac. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Fretwood Mac, you're spending your 40th birthday with us on Art Life Live. Can we all say happy birthday to Fretwood. I actually met him in Toronto when I was on tour with Kiss. And we met, met him at, at the show, went up to his seat, said hello. I met him afterwards in the lobby and such a nice guy, such a creative. Uh, he actually does wood carvings. And if you guys ever get a chance to check out Fretwood Mac, I believe you have to. All right, but a uh, super nice guy and happy 40th birthday to you. Uh, all right that's so awesome thank you so karen lonzak said happy birthday uh to you fretwood uh also yeah so you're asking about the supplies earlier i just get my paint at home depot go get there they don't pay me to say this that's just where i get it uh and also i have art supplies and there's a link in my bio it says amazon art supplies it's the brushes i use here in the studio you can go check those out and some other canvas and um and paint kits on there as well. What would you tell an artist to wait for inspiration? All right, so I'm going to end it answering this question. What do you tell an artist? What would I tell an artist waiting for inspiration? I say, don't wait, go and find it. Where do you start? Outside of creating, what moves you? Is it music? Is it movies? Is it something in life that inspires you? Is it, uh, you know, people that you surround yourself with? Is it, is it some, is it, is it running? Is it working out? You've got to find the activity outside of art that makes you feel like you're creating art and go find that and really tap into that to find the inspiration. So don't wait for inspiration. Stop waiting for it. Go find it. It will also meet you in the middle as well. I feel like inspiration is all around us and it's literally waiting for you to meet it in the middle. So uh, I'm gonna end with that. Do everything with paint, passion, action, intent, new, and to teach. And with those, that foundation, those principles, you can create and do anything. Uh, my name is David Garibaldi, and this is Art Life Live. <laughs>